In the vast tapestry of existence, we are reminded that everything is ultimately good. This reminds us to let go of pretense, wounds, and self-pity. Instead of feeling sorry for ourselves when faced with difficult situations, we should release those feelings and embrace the freedom that is our true nature. Our thoughts often cloud our vision of who we truly are. We have allowed ourselves to be trapped in a dream world, mistaking it for reality. But now, we have the opportunity to stop interfering and simply observe. We shouldn't react to external forces that try to sway us. By doing so, we awaken to the realization that we are not our problems, our bodies, or our thoughts. The journey begins by taking control of our thoughts and not allowing them to overshadow our true essence. We must observe what is happening without reacting to it. The wise ones have discovered that transformation lies in becoming quiet, patient, and working on ourselves. They have learned to watch their thoughts and actions, witnessing the rise and fall of emotions. Gradually, they realize that these emotions are not their true selves. They recognize the grip of conditioning and choose not to react. By embracing this non-reactive stance, they experience a newfound sense of freedom. They no longer concern themselves with what others are doing or compare themselves to anyone else. Their focus shifts inward as they lovingly tend to their own growth and well-being. In this inner sanctuary of stillness, they understand the interconnectedness of all beings. They dissolve the illusion of separation and become instruments of harmony. As we progress on this journey, we come to realize that nothing external can truly affect us. We are not at the mercy of the world or the opinions of others. We transcend the limitations of the body and the mind. Our true nature is pure consciousness. In this realization, we let go of worry and fear. We understand that nothing can disturb or hurt us. We are the eternal witness of it all. This is just the beginning. As we deepen our understanding, the mind and body become less important. We discover that we exist as something far greater, as consciousness itself. This realization may start small, but it grows into a flame of happiness. We merge into consciousness and experience the profound depths of reality. We see the world through new eyes. The world we once knew becomes like a magazine filled with images. Yet we are neither the magazine nor the images. We are the silent observer, untouched by the transient nature of worldly affairs. Our true essence eludes description and conceptualization. It can only be experienced in silence, beyond words. By becoming the observer, we gain the ability to make personal changes. We develop awareness of our thoughts, emotions, impulses, and behaviors. No longer do we react unconsciously. We catch the sensations and thoughts before they trigger a response. We remain present in the moment and consciously choose our actions. In this state of mindful observation, we realize that our only burden in life has been our own mind. The mind, a collection of thoughts about the past and the future, has kept us entangled. But the heart, the center of stillness and tranquility, is where we find peace. Surrendering the mind to the heart, we feel a profound shift within us. Deep in our hearts, we know that all is well. We understand that the universe is not against us, but is, in fact, our friend. It is the substratum of all existence, permeated with love. When we develop a loving consciousness, problems dissolve. Love takes care of everything. Love is synonymous with absolute consciousness, pure intelligence, and the power of the divine. With enough love within us, problems lose their grip. We see everything as an extension of the self and love it all. As we embrace, 